It is 5.02. Today, a group of CMS students will head back to the classroom. Wake up, Charlotte's. Billie Jean Shaw joining us live from CMS headquarters. So Billie Jean, students with special needs are the first CMS students to return to campus there. Good morning, Carolyn. This is the first group of students to return to CMS classrooms since the district moved to remote learning last semester. And for some parents, this day could not come fast enough. It's the first day of in-person learning for CMS. The district is kicking off their phase transition plan to get students back into the classroom for in-person learning. The first group of students heading back this morning are the exceptional ones, the ones with special needs, like Melanie Miller's daughter, Emily. Sit down. Pay attention. Despite her teacher's efforts, Miller says her daughter struggles with virtual learning and needs hands-on instruction. We're just sitting here trying to do our best for our children who are, quite frankly, regressing. To make this transition easier for children, CMS has been prepping for weeks now, especially when it comes to safety. With the help of nearly $4 million in money from the federal government, CMS is planning to provide every school in the district with PPE, like thermometers, hand sanitizer, and masks. And each day before students, staff, and visitors come into school, they'll have to take this symptom survey to ensure COVID-19 is staying out of the schools. And the next set of students to return back to the classroom, pre-K students, they will head back on October 12th. Reporting from CMS headquarters, Billie Jean Shaw, Wake Up Charlotte.